So now you're studying for your net plus or you just got it, congratulations. So what the heck do you do with this thing? How do you turn it into cash? Well, there are a long list of jobs that are available for net plus. Talk about what you learned. You learned all about networking concepts, the actual infrastructure and build of a network, how to operate it, how to secure it, and how to troubleshoot it, as well as all the tools that you need for those things, which means there are a lot of jobs available to you now. Now, you may not love your first network oriented job, but you are going to have a couple in your near future so that you can get great exposure to the market, meaning that you're going to learn a lot on the job training, have your hands in it, and be able to really jump towards your dream job, just leap pad right for it. So what are some of the jobs that you should be going after in your job search? So some of the most common are network administrator, junior network administrator, maybe a field tech if you wanna go out there and get your hands dirty with it. Junior systems engineer is a nice one. Here is a list. Here are a list of a lot of job titles, position titles, but more specifically, keywords that you should be plugging into your LinkedIn and your Indeed search. Now, don't restrict yourself based on maybe exactly what you have in mind for your dream job. It might take a couple hops here and there between different positions or companies to make it to that thing that you want to accomplish. Now, jumping through different jobs is not uncommon in tech. For you career changers, I know that you're always looking to put in five plus years to a company. But to be honest, technology moves fast and you've got to keep up with it. That means that you might only be spending a couple months on short-term contracts or one to two years at a company, really getting to know a specific methodology or how to do something, and then going on to your next opportunity so that you can be what we consider a more well-rounded candidate. Do not be scared to continue your applications and your interview process all the way from before you take your certification test. Yes, I'm talking to you that are still studying, if you're still in class, apply for jobs, all right? For those of you who have had a job in the networking or IT arena for a couple months, a couple years, start applying for new jobs. The worst thing that could happen is that you have your interview skills sharpened, you get an offer, and you say no. What else could happen? They might come back and say, you're really not what we're looking for. That's okay too. There are hundreds thousands of jobs out there available all around you and of course we are definitely completely moving into a remote society meaning that you don't necessarily have to show up at work which also means you can work anywhere in the world so expand your horizons open your mind to the possibilities and use a couple creative keywords in your job search what you're looking for might just be tagged as something completely different. When I was looking for jobs when I first started training, I was always looking for teacher. I wanted to be a CompTIA teacher or a technology teacher. But there are other words that are just as important, other keywords that were just as relevant, like instructor or trainer or coach. I never knew, it took me months to figure it out, and I felt really silly when I was like, yeah, those are obviously words I should be using in my job search, and I had missed a lot of opportunities because I was so stuck on being a teacher. Thesaurus.com is your best friend. Having an open mind will definitely help you. And again, for those of you who are just studying for the certification, don't hesitate to apply for jobs. My tech jobs have always come during studying or right after I certified, whenever I made a major move for myself in my career. Not necessarily after years of experience. And I think that, uh, that frustration or that fear really hinders us from greatness. All right, what are your next steps? Well, you need to connect with us on Instagram and of course, subscribe to this channel. Now, I want to know how you have gotten to where you are and where you are headed. What is your dream job? Is NetPlus where you should stop or are there other certifications you should be studying for as well? Tell us in the comments. Get certified, get paid. We'll see you soon.